okay dear, dear students so in this class let us discuss about the traffic flow problem so look at the first question let x1 be the traffic flow from a to b and x2 be the traffic flow from a to c and x3 be a traffic flow from b to c and x4 be a traffic flow from d to a so here uh, there are uh, four points namely a so b and uh, c as well as d right so from a to b the traffic flow is x1 so from a to b the traffic flow is x1 and uh, from a to c the traffic flow is x2 a to c look at the arrow mark the traffic flow is x2 and uh, x3 be the traffic flow from b to c so from b to c we have a traffic flow x3 and uh, x4 be the traffic flow from d to a from d to a the traffic flow is x4 and look at the data here let 300 cars per hour enter at a so 300 cars will enter at a right and uh, 200 cars per hour leaves at B. So 200 cars per hour leaves at B. So leaves at B means there is only one direction that is towards C. So they are leaving towards C. Right. And uh, 300 cars per hour leaves at C. So here uh, 300 cars per hour will leaves at D. So we have uh, leaves at C. So we have only one case here. So here uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the cars will arrive from A to C and the cars will arrive from B to C and uh, after C there is no point to go right so no direction uh, mentioned in the question so 300 cars will leave at C okay and uh, 200 cars per hour enter at D so 200 cars will enter at D right so this is the given thing so now uh, we have to uh, write the equation so look at the point a at this point we can say that the number of cars will enter at this point is equal to the number of cars will leave at this point right so here uh, 300 cars enter at a so we can say that at the point a 300 cars entered and uh, here uh, from d also x4 number of cars will enter at a so 300 plus x4 right and uh, that is equal to so here at this point x1 number of cars so it, it, it has two directions right towards b as well as towards c so towards a x1 number of cars will go will leave x1, x1 number of cars will leave from point a and of course x2 number of points will leave from the point a so we can print this equation right so 300 plus x4 is what the number of cars entered at the point a and x1 plus x2 is what it is the number of cars leaving from the point a right so similarly do the same thing for point b so from the point b so of course from the from the direction a so from a we have x1 number of cars will enter at b right that's it that will be equal to so here 200 cars are leaving from b so 200 cars are leaving and uh, of course from b to c x3 number of cars is also leaving so that is the traffic flow and at the point c uh, the number of cars entered is so from b also x3 number of cars are entering here so x3 and uh, from a also x2 number of cars is entering here x2 right and uh, that is equal to what so x3 plus x2 number of cars are entering at the point c and from the given data 300 cars are leaving at the point c so you can say that 300 right and look at the point d so from the point d so we have according to the given condition 200 cars entered at d and x4 number of cars are leaving from d so i can say that x4 is equal to 200 right now let us rearrange this equation so to get what so here we have uh, x1 uh, plus x2 minus x4 that is equal to 300 
and here it is x1 minus x3 i am bringing bringing that x4 to the left hand side that is equal to 200 and x2 plus x3 that is equal to 300 and x4 equal to 200 so we got the system of linear equations here so what we have to do here so we have to consider the augmented matrix okay so you know how to consider the augmented matrix right yeah so here uh, what is the what is the augmented matrix first we need to write the coefficient matrix of the left hand side so coefficient of x1 1 coefficient of x2 1 coefficient of x3 is 0 coefficient of x4 is minus 1 so what is the equation here what is the matrix here 1 1 0 minus 1 and in the right hand side we have 300 look at the second equation x1 0 minus x3 minus 1 coefficient of x4 is 0 and the right hand side is 200 and uh, 0 1 1 0 300 right and it is 0 0 0 1 so look at this we have only x4 the coefficient of x1 x2 x3 are 0 so that is 2 so we have this augmented matrix now let us calculate the rank of this matrix right <laughs> okay so here uh, the rank of this matrix is uh, so in the first iteration we need to the the first row first column entry is non-zero so write that as it is so one one zero minus one three hundred now in the first iteration i want to make these entries as zeros among these three entries two entries are, are already zero let us write them as it is so how to make this zero let me consider r2 minus r1 right what is r2 here the r2 is 1 0 minus 1 0 200 so what is r1 it is uh, 1 1 0 minus 1 300 do the subtraction so change the sign so minus minus here also minus minus is there let us write make them as plus minus so 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 0 0 plus 1 200 minus 300 it is minus 100 so it is uh, what it is 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 100 and these two entries are already 0 let us write them as it is so it is 0 1 1 0 300 and 0 0 0 1 so here we are finding the uh, values of x1, x2, x3 and x4, right? right? Now in the second iteration, look at this first entry in the second row, that is 0, right? Now I want to make these two entries as 0 in the second iteration, right? So if I write the first two rows as it is, 1, 1, 0, minus 1 is to 300 and 0, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 100. Now, how can you make this zero? You have option R1 as well as R2, but here you need to make use of only R2. If you use R1, this will become non-zero. Okay. So let us let us consider the operation R3 plus R2. So we have one in R3 minus one in R2. Let us add them. So what will you get? So zero plus zero, zero. One minus one, zero. One minus one, zero. 0 plus 1 1 300 minus 100 200 right and uh, in in the last row we have already 0 is there so let us write that as it is 0 0 0 1 yeah. so now uh, in the second row the first entry is 0 in the third row the first two entries is already 0 and in the fourth row the first two three entries is already 0 right we made all these zeros now look at the entries right look at the non-zero entries if possible make them also zero without affecting these zeros okay we have to perform row uh, uh, we have to perform the elementary row operation in such a way that without affecting these zeros if it is possible to make other non-zero entries as zeros we can do that so look at these two entries if i do the subtraction i can make these two entries also zero right so let me consider that here so 1 1 
0 minus 1 300 and 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 100 right and uh, write the third row 0 0 0 1 200 right now let us consider r4 minus r3 okay 0 minus 0 0 0 0 1 minus 1 is also 0 200 minus 200 is also so we have these zeros now now uh, can you make these two entries as zeros if you do the subtraction what happens these two entries will become non-zero quantities so we have to leave at this stage so this is what this is the echelon now what is the rank of the matrix rank of the augmented matrix look at the number of non-zero rows in the echelon form so consider the whole matrix the number of non-zero rows are one two three look at the last row it is a zero row so the rank is three and what is the rank of a so only consider this portion right only consider this portion so in this uh, echelon form the number of non-zero rows are three so the rank is three and both are equal here so rank of the augmented matrix okay that is equal to rank of a and that is equal to three but three is less than what the number of rows of a number of number of rows are four right number of rows of a so what is the conclusion the system the system is consistent and it has infinitely many solutions now how can you find these solutions so that's the question right so let me consider the equation form look at the echelon form just write the equation form of that okay it is a look at the first row we have 1 into x1 plus 1 into x2 0 into x3 minus 1 into x4 that is equal to 300 look at the second row it is 0 into x1 minus 1 into x2 minus 1 into x3 plus x4 that is equal to minus 100 look at the third row so 0 into x1 0 into x2 0 into x3 and 1 into x4 that is equal to 200 right so we got the value of x4 here it is ready it is 200 let us substitute that here so that we have minus x2 minus x3 plus 200 that is equal to minus 100 is it not so minus x2 minus x3 that is equal to minus 100 minus 200 that is minus 300 so we can say that x2 plus x3 equal to 300 right so and here we have x1 plus x2 minus x4 what is x4 it is 200 200 that is equal to 300 so x1 plus x2 that is equal to 300 plus 200 that is 500 so at this stage we need to choose one variable as a constant okay let me choose since it has infinitely many solution let me choose uh, x2 equal to k okay so then what happens so if x2 equal to k x1 equal to what it is 500 minus k from this equation right and uh, what is x3 so x3 equal to 300 minus k so what is the solution now the solution matrix is given by x1 x1 equal to what x1 equal to 500 minus k for each value of k you will have a solution so hence it has an infinitely many solution and x2 is what x2 is uh, where is x2 x2 is k and x3 equal to what 300 minus k and x4 equal to what x4 equal to where is that x4 equal to so is the required infinitely many solution okay thank you